Hi everybody, this is Tabitha with Elegantly Styled Events. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can start your balloon business and what top 10 items you need to get started. First on the list, we have, of course, a balloon pump. This one is the most popular and is purchased from Amazon. It has two nozzles, a little hidden compartment here for the cord, the power cord, and the power button is located here at the top. This one works really well. It's one of the most least expensive ones on the market, and like I said, it is the most popular electric pump. And you can also use one of these. This one is from Legenda. It is a um, 260 pump actually and this is actually my favorite pump to use even when I'm using for my um, five inch balloons as well the um, power button is here the power cord insert is here and it does come with one nozzle which is removable and you just um, press this button here and this is what inflates uh, the balloons. And I also like the feature here, it comes with a cutter mounted to the handle. So when you wanna cut off your excess, excess latex, you can do that if you don't have any scissors handy. Also, you want to have hand pumps. This one is used for five inches on up, um, and then this one is your 260 pump. So both of these will also come in very handy. Second on the list is going to be scissors. I did mention this when I was talking about the pumps. You definitely wanna make sure you have scissors in your kit. To separate any of your quads, your balloons, if you do something, you don't like the outcome, the figuration, and you wanna be able to cut it off without damaging the rest of your design, scissors number three you also want to have um different variations of tapes adhesives um standard people a lot of people currently are using um the the u glue dashes which um i i do not have but um i am going to be purchasing some but u glue dashes seem to be all the rage right now and are um perfect for adhering latex balloons to latex balloons latex to foil foil to foil this one here this roll of uh, double-sided adhesive i have um i actually ordered this on amazon it was actually recommended by um a another balloon designer i forget the name of it but the, it works really well i actually love it it um when you use it i mean it's just long it's not separated or anything like that you have to actually cut individual pieces to the sizing that you need another good adhesive is of course glue dots this is a pack of 2500 that i got and i don't know how many individual bags are in here but <clears throat> these also work very well the only thing with the glue dots is you can't use just one when adhering them to your latex or your foils you have to use like three or four um dots in order to get a good stick on your project also painter's tape painter's tape also comes in very handy when you are trying to make a, a connection point somewhere, uh, whether it's on a balloon or on a wall. Number four. Fishing line. You want to have fishing line in your kit as well. And this is what you, of course, use to construct your garlands. A lot of people also use 260s. That is currently my method that I prefer to use. Um, but fishing line also works as well. 
but do be careful when using fishing line because if you pull it too tight it can cut a small hole into one of your latex balloons and then you'll have a slow leak that you may not actually even uh, be aware of until after you possibly have left your setup so be careful with using a uh, fishing line number five um, another thing you also want to have in your kit are command hooks these work well for doing your garlands um, and attaching them to walls if you don't have a pipe and drape set or lamp stands or you're just in a venue where there isn't much space and you want to utilize the walls if they allow that then command hooks are also going to work great for that this is actually the um the adhesive portion that sticks on like to the wall and then this one actually is the let me show you guys can see this is actually the hook. This is a half pound hook also. Number six, you also will need something to transport your balloons in. So once you've blown up all of the desired balloons for your design, you need some type of bag to put them in to transport them from one location to another. And mattress bags. Mattress bags is what I use. This one here is the king size one i currently have one that's already open which is a queen size and um the king size actually holds the most and you will get the most out of um the king size bag so definitely if you can't find any other bags the mattress bags work as well and you will they have plenty of room to hold your balloons number seven number seven is going to be rubber bands Rubber bands come in very handy when you want to add filler to your designs, whether it's a column or a garland. Number eight, a balloon sizer. This is the sizer that I currently have. It's made out of wood and it has sizes from, I think, two to 10. It has, so here is two, three, four, and five. I think that might be six. Number nine, we're going to go with a great quality camera or your cell phone. When you have completed any designs for any installs that you do for your clients, the best thing that you can do for your business is make sure you take great photos. This also helps with your portfolio, um, adding extra pictures to your website, on your social media for advertising your youtube instagram whatever platform you're utilizing to market your business you want to make sure you have great quality photos and our final item that you will need for becoming a great balloon artist are great quality balloons these balloons here are from qualitex but i use multiple different brands my favorites are of course Qualitex, Tuftex, Sempertex. Um, I also have used Jamar balloons as well, and they are all great quality balloons. Okay guys, that completes our top 10 items that you will need to be a balloon artist, a balloon designer. I hope this list helps you and inspires you to go ahead and create your inventory to begin their journey as being a balloon designer or a balloon artist. If you have any questions about any of these items I showed in my video today, please feel free to ask me. Just drop it down in the comments. If there's anything that you feel I may have missed, also leave that in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I do an upload. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.